Hi guys. So a vertical spring stretches 9.6 centimeters when a 1.3 block is hung from its end. Calculate the spring constant. So we've been given uh, the displacement as well as uh, the mass. So to find the spring constant, now remember it's a vertical spring. So since it's a vertical spring, what will cause it to be pulled downwards is gravitational force, right? So we know that force is equals to spring constant times the displacement. Let's use y. So where there's f, this is a gravitational force, mg. k is equal uh, times y. So we're looking for the spring constant k. So k is equals to mg, mg over y. So spring constant, our mass in this question is 1.3. Acceleration due to gravity. 9.81 divided by the displacement which is uh, 9.6 centimeters in meters that's just equivalent to 0 0.096 so let's see what we get as a spring constant so the spring constant is giving us 132.8 132 0.8 spring constant is measured in newtons per meter okay so we have the spring constant so this was part a of the question let's just uh, go to part b part b says find the period so to be easy to find period but to do that we need to first find an expression which connects period and uh, the spring constant the expression we should be using here is omega is equals to the square root of k over m. So now, omega is given by 2 pi over period. So let's replace omega with 2 pi over period. This side we have the square root of k over m. If we square both sides, we're going to have 4 pi squared over t squared all this is equals to k over m so if this is the case let's make t the subject of the formula if we cross multiply we'll have t squared k is equals to 4m pi squared so period t squared is equals to 4m pi squared, all this is over k. We introduce a root to both sides, so period is equals to the square root of 4m pi squared, and all this is over k. So let's find the period. So 4 times m, m is just a mass, that is a 1.3 1 1 pi squared, the spring constant is 132.8 and all this is under one root so let's see what we get as a period so frequency this is for part C Frequency is equals to 1 over period. 1 over our period is 0 0.62. So let's just divide the two. Let's see what we get. 1.6. Let's say 1.61. So our frequency is 1.61 per second. Now uh, the, sec uh, the, the part D of the question says the amplitude. The amplitude has already been given to us in the question. Uh, a vertical spring stretches 9.6. This is the displacement. But if you look at the question, the second sentence or on part A, it says the block is then displaced an additional 5 centimeters. Right? So this addition of 5 centimeters is the maximum displacement. So since it's the maximum displacement, uh, 
that is automatically our amplitude so for part d amplitude we already have amplitude is equals to five centimeters but want to express it in meters so the amplitude is equals to 0 0.05 meters okay we want to find the maximum speed so to find the maximum speed that is part e we can say maximum speed which is velocity maximum is given by the formula amplitude multiplied by omega so if that's the case amplitude we already have but omega we don't have but we know that omega is the same as the square root of k over m so if this is the case our amplitude is 0 0.05 and in that square root we have our k spring constant 132.8 divided by the mass which is 1.3 so let's see what this gives us hence our maximum velocity velocity maximum or maximum speed is 10.1 meters per second so there we have it this is how we answer this question thank you very much